Yo guys, Casual FM here. Um, back with a, another video. I can tell you that we did sadly um, avoid relegation. Um, I was hoping to bring a video with the relegation battle, but I was trying to fix the TV at the same time, so I kind of just played through and didn't see. Um, obviously, the 2-1. To Patrick Fizzle was where we left. Uh, then we had Falkirk, where we actually took the lead twice. And it was only, as you can see, the 93rd minute goal, which really, 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 really annoyed me. Um, but you didn't get to hear my reaction, so it's fine. So we didn't hear any smashing. Um, and then we had Peterhead, who are relegated. They're, they were gone. They're on the beach, they're on holiday. Some of them were scuba diving. I mean, to be fair, with the money they actually get paid, I'm not sure they were anywhere nice. And uh, with the pandemic and that, I'm sure they were nowhere, really. But that's beside the point. They were gone. Um, we absolutely battered them. 4 0 up in the first half. I made no changes. Just kept it how it was. Wanted to see if we could go anywhere past that. We didn't. The sad thing about it was it was Dapo. Uh, Mabood, as we can see, who scored all four goals, and he's not my player. And I doubt we'll see him again, because since I took over, he scored to like 10 goals. We took him to a tally of like 20, and he's gone. Rangers will probably use him now. Um, unfortunately, we did also concede in the 89th minute, but it was not a problem for me, because in the end of the day, that's just the defence, and Trabowski's clean sheet gone. Um, this is how the table is with the last game. We've got Clyde. We can win not overtake, we can just go on, I mean, I don't think Montrose can take us either, so if we look here, we've finished seventh, we've got no movement, the boys are on the beach, and there's not really much to say, and as you see here, he got 14 goals, sorry, altogether, uh, I'll have a look later to see how many he actually got while I was playing, um, I've looked for jobs, there's nothing, can't get anything, nobody believes I'm ready, um, all of the players are leaving. There's not really much here anyway, so I need to look at seeing on who's staying, who's going. But let's just get into the game. Um, it's been telling me to play cautious all all of the time. You know, I'm not going to play cautious because, in it, as we can see, nobody likes each other in this squad. Um, but they had a broken link, if you remember, and now they're friends again. And this, these two. McCluskey and Wardrop, Wardrop leaving, had a broken link, but they're friends now. But everybody else just hates each other in the squad, so it's a good job that they're not going to see each other now for like four weeks while I tear it apart if I stay. I was really hoping to leave, but um, the board didn't want to fund my uh, coaching badge at all. Um, hopefully, visually, it's not as bad as it looks, but I did swap the monitor I was using. So let's just hope. But yeah, no, not much going on. We've not had a highlight. We're 20 minutes in. Um, and this is where I think we're going to show that. Oh, actually, I was about to say that we're, we're actually on par. And this is where we deserve to finish. But they've had five shots to our zero. Um, I don't know if that's because we're playing defensive or not. But uh, let's try balance and just see if we can get anything going. Uh, what I have noticed, though, is that, you know, where I would be, you know, maybe getting more goals from corners and free kicks if I had implemented tactics of the season. Um, I obviously haven't scored any. I do need to get on and put some corner tactics, free kick tactics on there. Um, but as it's not really the team I thought I was staying with, and as I thought I was easily not going to get relegated or be in the playoff, I just haven't got around to it. Because I'm really hoping I'm not here at the start of the season because they've got nothing. I mean, I think we're losing 10 players this season. Um, I don't know if we're going to be afford, able to afford any of them because I've only got 1k wage budget adjustments. The star players are all leaving. Uh, most of the team has to be Scottish, I believe, and I've been looking for a lot of Scottish kids, but nobody wants to join um, the team at all, really, and I don't really blame them, because 
there's nothing going on. Is that good, Willie? I feel like he was a famous striker back before that I'd seen move to Sheffield Wednesday. I feel like that is. Let's just quickly, I, I wouldn't normally do this, but David Goodwillie. Where did... I was wrong where he went. He went to Blackburn. I remember this guy. Wow. David Goodwin. I think he was a deadline day transfer. Anyway, back to the game. Uh, it's the 79th minute. I'm going to see if we can fire them up. Uh, McCluskey should come off. He's very tired. But if I'm honest, he's like one of the best players at the club and actually does something. And I, Oh, my God. I'd like to keep him. Oh, no, no, no. And there you go, guys. I've looked at him. I've mentioned him in the stats. I've mentioned how I knew the guy. And he's just the curse of FM and he's gone and scored that. It looks like he's sort of a guy that shows that he deserved to be in the Premier League. He's just took it. He's one-touched it and he's put it in the corner. And fair play. I'm actually really intrigued to know how much he's on. So I'll be looking at that afterwards. Maybe he'll be a signing I want. Didn't actually see how many goals he scored. Um, it's not really much. We're going to lose. Don't think I've won a single game yet on the uh, on the videos. But here we go. So Cunningham putting in the court. I mean, I don't think I need to change anything because they don't seem to be scoring any anyway. Um, long for them. Palmer. Oh, beautiful interception there from Anderson. Same nobody could capitalise. And Sivester has scored. Uh, which is a bit annoying. One thing I've noticed is there's not a lot of goals in this league at all, really. Um, and what an annoying goal that is. That is definitely one of your non-league semi-pro goals. Ricochet. Oh, but he's just finished it off like it was Robin Van Persie. Beautiful goal, I guess. Got to give it to them. Tune it up. Um, I do think that's because we're tired, but it, it's just I'm not going to make subs. It's the last game. There's no point. Oh, is this it? Oh, well, I really thought something was going to happen there. I thought, you know, the dude was going to get on for his last goal. Uh, I'm just going to tell him I'm not happy. They seem to understand, but that's it. Really hopeful that we won't be here. Um, but I feel like we will be here. So let's have a look at so these are all the players that came in. Obviously, I brought none of these players in. Um, so, oh, Sam came in for one season. And he's now leaving. So he it, he came in and he was like so up and ready to go. He, he must have been released from Dundee and just not had a club or something. I don't know if you've ever seen this guy before, but he came in and he turned off and he opened the door and he went, oh, this isn't for me. And he regretted it, and he hasn't been able to. He literally won't sign a contract, so he must literally have come in and gone, ah, right then, my agent's messed up here. Elliot Anderson, I did notice this player was on loan from Newcastle, so I will try to see if I can get him back. Um, and I'm just having a look through. Nat Wedburn, don't really know if I saw much of you, to be fair. This Dabrowski is one that you should probably look at because he seems, I think, would be a good keeper for like, the championship level or your lower level, like Premier League. I think I might have had him at Crystal Palace on a save before, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, Matt Peacock, I believe, is someone that I bought in just because he was cheap and he looked promising and he was like really cheap. Daniel Church. Not sure who these are, but yeah, and obviously he got handed to him. He played 25 games, 14 goals, very good ratio, but he's going back. Um, expectations, don't think we did it, but look at that. I don't, that's, I mean, you can see, I think it's quite hard that he got sacked. Where I feel like we did the exact same, if not worse. Um, and the finances. Yeah, it looks like we're not doing well, are we? Uh, 